Waggy, welcome back to Derby County. How does it feel? Yeah, um, delighted to be honest. Um, obviously, it's been a kind of a, a strange couple of weeks being in around the place already, but over the month, uh, have it over the line and get ready to get going now. What's made you want to come back to Derby? Um, just kind of the vision of the club again, uh, where where we need to be and where we all want to be. Um, obviously, I've got a great history with the place, um, but the the chance of being successful here, kind of a different player now, a different person, and hopefully I can use all my experiences now and help the team and get back to, to where we want to be. And obviously, it's it's home to, to me and my family, and it's no greater incentive than being in front of these fans, in front of my family, week in, week out. Have you found the last couple of weeks then? Uh, I've loved every minute, to be honest. Um, since kind of the invitation come around, it was a no-brainer, just kind of situational-wise, kind of where I was, just what I was doing running around the park wasn't ideal. Um, but just to being around the place again, the feel and kind of the excitement that's being generated by the manager and what he's doing here is um, something that I really wanted to be a part of. And when it came to kind of a discussion about moving things forward, it was, it was a no-brainer, really. How much do you owe Fozzie for this? <laughs> well, to be fair, he's, he's, he's always kept reminders now, you always a bit of dough for this, so um, no, I'll give him a few, give him a few sweets and a few, few lifts of training and that'll be all right. Um, in terms of the Martin Waghorn that left Derby and the one that's come back now, I know it's only been two years, but what Martin Waghorn are we getting? Um, a lot more experienced, um, kind of developed the game to, to, to fit kind of certain situations. I probably think I'm a bit more of a well-rounded player. Um, and somebody that's gained a lot of knowledge of how to play certain situations and, and understand the game a little bit better, but still hungry as ever, still want to win, still want to achieve, still want to score goals and just give 100% for the team. How have you found Paul Warren? <laughs> yeah, brilliant to be honest. Um, complete contrast to what you've been used to in the past. Uh, very, very open, loves the conversation and kind of where I'm at in my career, I think it's it's uh, something that I'm really looking forward to, um, having that relationship and hopefully we can use each other's experiences and get the best out of each other and the way things have been the first few weeks, it, it, could, be, it could be a fun ride. Would you say he's quite unique? Yeah, very different. In, term, in terms of a manager, to have that kind of relationship with the players that he seems to have is, um, is quite different, but as far as I'm aware, the, the, the lads love it and it's something that I can really get on board with and really connect with him and he seems very family orientated which is an amazing person I am as well so yeah we're connected straight away on that front and hopefully it can be a successful year. You know the expectation around Derby County especially in, in, in League One as well what have you made of the group and sort of the aspirations that everyone's got for this season? Yeah the group's got more than enough you can see the quality from from front to back um, it's there for everyone to see it's sorting out the finer details which uh, which will will get going it's only the first weeks out of the way. It's, uh, it's one of them things, it's, it always happens. But it's a long season. Um, everyone knows what the expectations are of this club. And this is why I've come back, um, to kind of help in whatever capacity I can. Playing, starting, helping the team, whatever way it is. It's, it's about getting the team to back where it, where, where it needs to be. And um, whatever kind of input I can have on that, then, then brilliant. And a new league for you as well, other than um, the Premier League at the start of your career and then um, a brief spell at Rangers. It's been Championship all the way, so League One's something a bit new to you. Yeah, it is, but it's something that I'm looking forward to. It's a different challenge, and like I say, this is kind of where I think my experience could come into play. Different circumstances, different situations, different grounds. I've experienced a few different ones, shall we say, in Scotland. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of used to it. It's just all kind of a bit of a mindset thing, to be honest. Wherever you're at, Rob, it's you're there to play football, you play the situation, you play the game, and everything around it just just a bit of noise. You've got to kind of use the experience, trust what you do, trust your process, and yeah, there's enough quality and enough experience in the dressing room to, to get the job done. Well, it's Carabao Cup on Tuesday. Hopefully you'll be involved in that one. And I guess it's a competition for you that your first year here, Derby had a great run in it. You scored your first goal for the club in it. And it's an opportunity quickly to bounce back from Saturday. Yeah, definitely. It's a good opportunity against a good side. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll play a bit of footy. Um, so it'll be nice to get in there. Um, and just like you say, hit the ground running. I've, I've played a few games, got a few minutes, feel, feel good. So... Hopefully get a, get a few minutes, get a good shout and like you say, could kick start your career at the season. And like you say, it's, it'll be tough, but it's a good opportunity to get the ball rolling and uh, get a win. And you, and you mentioned at the start of the interview, you're still hungry. You seem really excited by this opportunity. Yeah, I, I want to win. I've come back yet to, to win, get promotion and um, achieve things that I've not quite achieved in my career. So 
hopefully this is the, the year we can do it.